Today on 2D's Track Analysis, we have the track of the day for December 14th, Auronix by Twixie and Dot. The track Auronix is a tech track, meaning that you will need to drift around corners to maintain optimal speed. It has drivable surfaces of road and an occasional sausage block. There are no speed checks and an option for a safe or risky finish. The risky needs roughly 260 or more speed to reach cleanly and depending on speed, the safer finish will cost you roughly 1 to 2 seconds. I completed the track with a time of 42.345, well ahead of the gold and only 6 tenths behind the author medal. Overall, I thought our Onyx was a decent but challenging track. On the plus minus rating scale, I give our Onyx a plus rating. Gonna be very hard to analyze today. One of the best tech times I've ever gotten. Right there at the start. Take that on an angle so you don't get any airtime. And then very tight turns here. You're gonna be scraping by these edges to get around these full speed. Then just continue on left to this sausage block jump. You want to go off pretty high, probably way higher than you would expect. And then you'll get a nice turn into this one here. Uh, I probably could have let go a little bit earlier on this drift to get a little bit faster acceleration. But overall, pretty happy with this one. And we'll continue on here. I just want to point out in this next section here that you got a very narrow window. You really want to take this a little bit left here. Otherwise, you'll get a nasty bonk on this gap so yeah make sure you stay a little bit left here a very narrow gap to take this one then for the drift here i was a little bit too aggressive just not a fantastic line it's still all right but uh yeah i should be up a little bit higher to the right here so i can have a much cleaner exit once i unpause here you will see that i'll get a little bit of a bounce on the exit which will cost me a little bit of speed then for this next drift, you want to start it very early, and it's a very short one, but you want to start accelerating immediately and get that speed up. Again, for this next one, another very early one, and then a very tight drift, very short. Again, you want that acceleration very quickly here. Then we're immediately thrown into this jump, followed by an immediate very tight drift. Took this one pretty well. And that brings us to this checkpoint here where I took the outside. You can go through the intersection, but I, I do actually feel like the outer one does set you up a little bit better. And then we're immediately on to this next drift, very early, another very short drift, you want that acceleration on the exits. Maybe held this one just a little too long. And this next drift here is probably the hardest in the track. You have such a very small window to get through this while drifting. Uh, I'll start it pretty early here again, and you want to hold it for a pretty long time on this one as the corner is very far away. But uh, extremely, extremely difficult uh, turn here. Uh, when I was first uh, approaching this one, I was just releasing because I could not get this drift down. Just, uh, yeah, a very tough drift here. And that brings us to the final drift of the track. This one, again, is extremely difficult to maintain speed on the exit. So many times I would get in here and lose a run right here trying to get to the risky finish, which you need approximately 260 speed while approaching the ramp. And our Onyx has been analyzed. Again, I thought the track was pretty good and was quite the challenge to get good drifts. I only gave it a plus rating though, because for me, the black and white contrast made it very difficult. A lot of places with black on black or white on white, making some turns and locations hard to read or predict. It got better with time as I learned the track, but overall was a little off-putting to me. That's the final thoughts for today though. I hope you enjoyed today's analysis. If you did, I would like to ask you to please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on more in the future. I make one every weekday, so there are plenty to come and plenty already to watch. So please go check out the other ones as well. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for the next one.